Hello YouTube, this is Apple Tech, and today I got an iOS 5 video for you guys. Now this is my first video doing it on an iPhone 4, so bear with me guys. And like always, please make sure to like the video, leave any of your comments, questions, subscribe right up there if you want more videos like this. And I will still be doing iOS 3 videos, so don't worry about that, but I will be coming at you with the latest and greatest of iOS 5 on iPhone 4. So in this video, I will be showing you the top five Dreamboard themes that I think you should have if you have Dreamboard on your newer devices. So I'm just going to jump right into it. And all of these themes you can get from the Insane AI repo or you can get them from the Big Boss repo and buy them. Um, doesn't matter. It's mostly on you. So if I go into the Dreamboard, you can see that my first one is called Boxer HD. Now, as you can see down here, this is where you have your dock. You have your music, your messaging, your phone, and then this box right here, it takes you back to Dreamboard. Now you have a settings right here, which is very nice. You can click on it. You have your wallpaper, edit mode, set weather, and settings. So that's pretty cool. And then I'm just going to show you the wallpaper. So if I click on that, you can change it right on the fly. That means you can change it from right here. You don't have to go into any settings. So if I change it to this one right here, you can see that it changes automatically. And all the wallpapers are very nice for this Dreamboard theme. Now as you can see you have pages of apps and then up here you have your folder. So if I click on games it will take me to my games. Same thing goes with apps and then you can set your favorite. So you just do that by going to settings and then you go into edit mode. So when you go into edit mode you will go to one of these right here and then you will just tap on one and then just change the app. And then right here you got to set your weather so that's just pretty easy, no going into iFile and anything, you just put in your zip code or your weather from weather.com code. So you can just put that in and then it will appear right here. As you can see I set mine. Now you can go to settings and that will just take you to your iPhone settings. So that's pretty cool, they have that on the main tab right here. Now if you swipe to your left hand side, you have your widget. Now it's a Facebook widget. It's very nice as you can see if you swipe um, to get to Facebook if you like Facebook a lot. So this is just the first theme of Dreamboard. Now moving on to the next one. Now the next one I got for you guys is called iClassified HD. Now this one is very nice. It kind of looks like Boxer HD, but just a little bit better. Now, as you can see, you have your clock up here. You have your iPod, your Dreamboard, which takes you back to Dreamboard. You have your apps in the middle, which shows you all your apps, which looks very nice. Now, right here, you have your messaging, your phone, your settings. Um, all stock icons are on the Springboard in widgets. Now, this one, if you scroll to the left, you got your Facebook widget as well. Now, as I said... Um, the background and everything is, um, you can change it and everything, so that's very nice, and um, it's a pretty nice theme. If you like simple themes, this theme will be good for you. So once again, it's called iClassified HD, so that is the second one. Now let's move on to the third one. Now the third one, as you can see, is called Galaxy S2. Now this one, I really love this theme because it is a full complete theme and it gives you the experience of a droid on an iPhone. Now as you can see, all your applications are customized. As you can see, you have your clock, your weather widget up here, you got your dock down here. And then if you scroll, you got a picture. Uh, I believe you could change this picture. Now as you can see right here, you have your RRS feed, which is Twitter. Now another cool thing is when you go to edit right here, as you can see, you can change your wallpaper, settings, you can just exit it. You can exit edit or you can go into edit mode. Edit mode means you can just switch your icons around and then wallpaper. Let me just show you wallpaper. As you can see, you have a wide selection of wallpapers, which look very nice. So I'm just going to click on one and then you just click set wallpaper and it's set right there. Same thing as the other theme, which is right on the fly. Now this theme is very nice and the good thing about this theme is it doesn't stop there when you lock your device as you can see it's a all right lock screen but as you can see there is no slider so you're like probably wondering how do you unlock this one so you just move it and as you can see it's unlocked so it's like move to unlock but without installing the tweak which is very nice now if you would want to go to your applications you just click right here and you got all your applications swipe into the side 
So that is a very nice touch. Now once again, that one's called Galaxy 2. Now the fourth one I got for you guys is called iTime HD. Now this one is a very simple but nice theme. As you see, you have mostly all your stock icons on here like a clock form. And all of them are launchable as you can see. I just launched the settings. So right here you have your phone and then your messaging, the most used apps if your device is connected. Now up here you just tap on it and you see all of your applications which are all customized to the theme. Now as you can see that's much it. You can't swipe up, down, side. It's a simple theme but it is a nice theme overall as you can see. Um, these are one of these themes if you just want to get to your apps quicker and that's just much it and once again it's called iTime HD so now let's get on to the fifth one now this fifth one is very nice as you can see if I click on it right there it loads up quickly now this one is a very nice theme for your device as you can see all of these are your custom widgets on your device and you only have two pages as you see you have Cydia you have the App Store you have your calendar your notes if you have the fitness app um, it has mostly all these mostly downloaded apps on your springboard and as you see if you swipe to the left you got your Facebook widget and it doesn't stop there if you click on this right here you see that you can get your favorites your apps your games your city it has like folder selections which is very nice that you can set up now when you go to apps and if you want to access all of them you just click on this one and as you can see you got all of your apps right there and they are all customized none of them are missing um, that's what makes this theme very nicely now as you can see on any of these themes you can always access your multitasking so that is not gone in these themes if you would wanted to know that now as you see in the middle you have your widget with an animated background which is very nice now as you see you got your phone uh, you got your messaging you got your music Facebook camera and then you have a game right there so once again this one is a very nice theme it's called G Y R O H D I can't really pronounce it but that's how it is spelled so once again it's a very nice theme now if we go back to dream boy as you can see you got it right there and that is the top five themes of dream board now if you want to see more themes on dream board just leave a comment below and like always, comment, rate, and subscribe. And folks, just make sure to follow me on Twitter. That link will be in the description below. So with that being said, peace out. See you in the next video.